Let's talk about the area and parameter of different objects like rhombus, trapezoid, parallelograms and triangles. Okay, this is how the perimeter is calculated. You can see a triangle with uh, sides of 4, 4, it's a kind of a equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle will have the sides of equal sides, equal length. So the perimeter is 12, 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4, it's 12. And this is here, this is another triangle with a different size as length of the edges. Here you got 6 here, 5 here and 3 here. So 3 plus 6 plus 5 which is equal to 14. Over here we got a square of side length, sides 3, 3, 3, 3. So adding 4 threes you got the perimeter as 12. So now we are talking about cuboid. Cuboid is nothing but the structure of a cube but the length and width is change. It will have different length and width. So this is a cuboid net diagram. You can see this is length, width, height and the four lateral surfaces in the cuboid is the side one one, it's two, this one is 3 and this one is 4. These are considered as the lateral surfaces, avoiding the top and bottom. If we try to calculate the total surface area of the cube, it's nothing but you got the length and breadth. So length and height. So this one length and height. And you got breadth and height and you got length and height here length and height and you got here the breadth and the length and height length and height and your breadth so you got one two three four five six so how will calculate the surface area of the cuboid so this is one rectangle length into height which is here, breadth into height which is here and your length into height which is here and your breadth into height this one, length into breadth this one and finally length into breadth is this one so you got 2 into length into breadth 2 into breadth into height and 2 into L into H which indicates the formulation is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH now this is your cube structure cube will have the sides which is of equal length that's called cube so for the cube the base volume is the base area into height so obviously it's a small rectangular square you can have you can go with square also so the base area is length into breadth or L square we need to multiply the surface length that's L into L is L square and into height, base area into height. So the volume of the cube is L cube. If we talk about the surface area, you got six sides. So obviously we got six L square. The surface area of the cube is six L square. So two into L into L plus two into L into L and plus two into L into L. We got six L square. Now we'll talk about parallelogram. A parallelogram is a flat shape with the opposite sides parallel and equal in length. So the sides are equal. The sides are equal. 
and it's parallel that's parallelogram so this is your parallelogram and area is equal to base into height that's your area and this side this one and this one is equivalent so for the area of the rectangle is b into h the same thing you should calculate use it for area is equal to b into h so this is the area of the rectangle that's breadth into height that's bh we talk about the parallelogram as it told its breadth into height i got a parallelogram with uh, the length as 4 cm and the side is 4 5 cm and the area is 4 into 5 that's 20 cm now we'll talk about rhombus rhombus is nothing but a four sided flat shape with a straight sides but all sides will have equal length that's your rhombus and here the area is the diameter d1 into d2 divided by 2 that's your rhombus i'm trying to show you a typical example of a rhombus here the area of abcd and ac ac is equal to 3 inches and bd is equal to 4 inches So area of the rhombus is equal to half into AC into BD. That's half into three into four. That's the value of area of ABCD is six inches. If we talk about trapezoid, a four-sided flat shape. with a straight sides that has a parallel pair of opposites is parallel so this is your trapezoid and the area of trapezoid is half into h into b1 plus b2 this is a typical example of trapezoid so the area is equal to half into h into b1 plus b2 Here the height is 10 and the side is the breadth on B1 and B2 is 8 plus 6. Obviously 5 into 14 that's 17 70 cm square. Thank you. Thanks for watching my GTEC video. Thank you.